Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will be talking about rapid VLAN spanning tree. What you can see here on this network, we have the router one with the sub interfaces, router on a stick configured on router one with these IP addresses for these sub interfaces. And we can see three switches one, two, sorry, this is switch three and two. And we will be configuring together VLAN. 99 with the IP address on switch 1 and VLAN 10, uh, 20 and 30 on VLAN uh, switch 1, switch 2, uh, 3 and 2 and we have here uh, three PCs. Each PC will be connected uh, via port, access port to the switch. We will configure the access ports to VLAN 10, 20 and 30. That's why I configured only uh, just for VLAN 10, 20, and 30, so we can check the connectivity. So I'll be configuring rapid PBST. I will configure the VLANs and trunks, rapid spanning a tree PBST, primary and secondary root bridges, and then we will test what we did, then optimizing the network by configuring port fast and BPDU guard on the PCs. First, let's configure the access ports here on switch 2, configure terminal, access port for the PC's interface range, F0, 11, F0, 10 to 12. Did I do it right? Yes, I did. Switch port mode access, no shift. Uh, enter, no shift. Now, uh, I will be configuring on the switches. Uh, VLANs 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 99 on switch 1, 2, and 3. But to speed up the process, I have them here listed on a notepad just to expedite the process. So I'll copy here and go to the switch 1. And here, enable, configure terminal, and just simply paste. And then hit enter. And on switch 2, uh, 3. Enable, configure terminal, and paste, hit enter. And the same with the, on uh, switch two, configure terminal, and global mode, enter. And again, here, I want to open the ports for these VLANs, including the VLAN one. So I'll copy and go to switch one, and here, also paste and the same on switch uh, three paste and on switch two exit here in the configuration mode and paste so what i did so far configured the vlans from 10 to 80 and vlan 99 and i uh, open uh, no shot the interfaces for this VLAN. Now uh, I need to assign the ports here listed 10, 11, and 12 uh, by the PCs as access ports to the PCs and in different uh, VLANs interface of 0, 10. This one access. Uh, switch port access VLAN 10, the first one, and the second one interface F011, switch port access VLAN 20, and the third one interface F012, switch port access VLAN 30. Now we are done configuring the ports, connecting the PCs to the switch 2. We configured the VLANs and opened the no shutdown interfaces for these VLANs. Now I want to configure the IP addresses for this VLAN, VLAN 99, uh, VLAN 10, 20, and 30, and VLAN 99 is uh, the native VLAN. So 
what I did also to speed up the process, I have it here listed on notepad here, or I will just copy, speed up. And this is for switch one, here exit, and paste, and now for switch two, copy here, and go down to switch two, exit, in the configuration mode, paste, and the third one for switch three, with these configurations, copy and go to switch three exit and paste here so now let's see what we did so far uh, show ip enter show ip interface brief as you can see here for vlan 10 vlan 20 and 30 we have the ip addresses and they are up and up and this is for VLAN 90, and the same here on switch one. So IP interface brief. We have the three VLANs, and the fourth at the bottom, VLAN 99, and the same with the switch two. And uh, now I want to configure the connection between the switches as trunk. Here going to switch one, we have four ports, one, two, three, and four, and the same on switch three, and the same on switch uh, two. So I'll do it as interface range, at zero, one to four, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk, native VLAN 99. This is on switch one, on switch three, configure terminal I'll do them all together F01 uh, switch port mode trunk switch port trunk native VLAN 99 and the same here on switch uh, 2 exit interface range F Zero, one, to four. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk native VLAN ninety nine. Show run. And as you can see here, for as Ethernet zero one, switch trunk native VLAN ninety nine, and it is. And for two and three, and this is port number four. And here on switch, uh, we can, we saw this on switch uh, two. I want to have a look at uh, one, two, and three, and four, and uh, 10, 11, and we have fast Ethernet 0, 10. It's a switch port access VLAN 10, and it is in access mode. Uh, it's at an access, switch port mode access. So everything looks nice. So far, now let's ping from switch one. And here, uh, I want to ping 192.168.99.13. VLAN, this IP address for VLAN uh, 99, let's see. And it was a success. Let's run the ping again. And it was. And on switch two, let us ping. Uh, ping 
.168.99.11 and run it again and here we go so far everything is working beautifully now we will configure a rapid spanning HD protocol mode on the switches on switch 1, 2 and 3 on switch 1 configure terminal Spanning tree, mode, rapid, turbulent, spanning tree, and the same on switch three, uh, spanning tree, mode, rapid, turbulent, spanning tree, and the same here on switch two. Configure terminal, spanning tree, mode, rapid, TVST. <clears throat> now with the load balancing so now if we go on switch or we can see it from here like a port pass ethernet 02 here on switch 1 it we can see it's a blocking and here on switch 2 we have port F01 F02 and F04 they are blocking and the switch 3 is the uh, root bridge is it here so spanning a tree is telling us this bridge is the root which is uh, switch three and all the ports are in forward forwarding state and the status is forwarding and here on uh, switch one show spanning a tree uh, we can see that uh, port 02 is blocking. This is on uh, VLAN 99, it's blocking, and on VLAN 80, the same here, it's a blocking, and any VLAN here, like this one, uh, VLAN 30, the same. The port F02 is blocking. And here we have three ports are blocking. We show spanning three. And we have port F04, F01, and F02. They are blocking here. Load balancing, It's we will configure it on uh, uh, switch 1 to be the primary route for VLANs 1, 10, 30, 50, and 70. The, the odd numbers, odd numbers, uh, the odd VLANs. And configure on switch 3 here the even VLANs for VLANs uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 99. So we want to distribute the load between these two. So on router uh, on switch one uh, let's go back to the notepad here as you can see uh, VLAN 1 10 30 50 70 we want it to be the root and configure them as a primary so copy from here and on switch one configure terminal and just here paste and back to the on switch 3 this guy here we want the even VLANs 20, 40, 60, 80 and 99 to be the root primary for these VLANs copy and on switch 3 configure terminal paste but for uh, switch uh, 2 we want all the VLANs to be configured as root second copy and here on switch 2 configure terminal and paste
and you can see you know only here part two on switch two is the blocking now we will configure port fast on switch two interfaces that are connected to the pc here Port fast causes the port to enter the forwarding state almost immediately by dramatically decreasing the time of listening and learning states. Port fast minimizes the time it takes for the server or workstation to come online. So we'll go on switch to configure the terminal is configure interface range F0 10 to 12. All of them together, adding a tree, uh, port fast. And here it's telling us that port fast has been configured on fast Ethernet, for example, 0 to 12, but will only have effect when the interface is in non trunking mode, and it is not. We configured them earlier as an access port. Now, because Port fast can be enabled on non-trunking ports connecting to switches. Spanning a tree loops can occur because BPDUs are still being transmitted and received on those ports. Port fast PBDU guard prevents loops by moving a non-trunking port into an air disabled state when a PBDU is received on that port. So now to guard these ports, we want to enable PBDU on the three ports here, connecting the PCs to the switch. We still in the range for the three ports. So configure it like this, spanning three, BPDU guard, and we have either enable or disable. So we enable. So now let's see if we can ping from switch to the 192, 168.20.1. And we can, uh, let's see if we can ping from PC. It's the uh, default gateway here. We'll go to the desktop, ping. 192.168.20.1 and yes we can let's see if we can ping pc1 on 192.168.10.10 yes we can uh, i i know i there was lots of uh, copy and paste you know using notepad i just uh, want to show you how easy it is if you follow the rules you know to configure whatever complicated network i hope you learned something or a tip or two from this video please if you like it uh, subscribe to my channel and share the video and give me the thumb up and if you have any notes any comments please don't hesitate to write me you know leave me a comment and uh, I'll appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video. Have a nice day.